Rachel checked her watch. 11pm. Relief flooded her. Having made a ten-minute dash from King's Cross tube station, she had arrived at the pub just on time. After a long, stressful day at the office, she was in desperate need of some light relief. And God, was she looking forward to it. As she took a seat at the bar, she pushed back loose strands of hair from her face and studied her reflection in the bar's mirror, adjusting her low-cut bodice until it revealed more of her womanly attributes. She scanned the busy room, looking for her date, but her attention was quickly drawn behind her as two women, engaged in a raging argument, knocked over a table. Beer glasses shattered on the wooden floor, spraying dark liquid in every direction. Some people really shouldn't drink, the bartender said to Rachel, shaking her shaven head as she placed a Jack Daniels and Coke in front of her. Special delivery from the woman at the end, she added as she walked away and called another employee to sort out the mess. Rachel leaned forward, craning her neck to look past the row of women blocking her view. She caught the eye of the young woman in question and liked what she saw. Tall and slender, with an edgy pixie haircut and a silver stud piercing the right side of her nose. Barely able to contain her excitement, Rachel raised her glass in the air, then brought it down to her lips, her red lipstick staining the rim as she sipped it slowly. The woman smiled back knowingly and headed in her direction. Sadie? Rachel asked as the woman approached, her gaze leaving her face and falling to the swell of her breasts. The woman's hardened nipples strained against the fabric of the black t-shirt she wore. Sadie nodded. And you must be Rachel. For a few minutes, they engaged in small talk until Rachel leaned in closer, her cheek brushing Sadie's. Well, shall we go then? Sure, Sadie said, her blue eyes flashing with delight. With that, Rachel slid off the stool on which she was perched and strode towards the women's toilet, with Sadie in tow. Once in the toilet cubicle, Rachel barely had time to lock the door behind them before Sadie pulled Rachel towards her. She could feel the cotton fabric of her flimsy top being torn apart as Sadie's fingers left livid white prints on her breasts as she squeezed them hard. Rachel gasped in pleasurable pain. She kissed Sadie hungrily, her tongue exploring every inch of the other woman's mouth. "'I want you,' Sadie whispered, a fierce urgency in her voice. Do you want me? She asked between passionate kisses. Tell me you want me, she said as she pushed up Rachel's short skirt and dropped to her knees. Some perverse part of her delighted at seeing Sadie's face burying itself between her legs. Yes, I want you, Rachel groaned, her voice husky, her knees feeling weak as she gave in to the ferocity of the other woman's demand. Minutes later, she let out an uncontrollable scream as she felt a sudden cascading release, her body shuddering uncontrollably. Sadie stood up smiling, meeting Rachel's eyes with a wolf-like hunger. Now it's my turn. Hours later, in the comfort of her bedroom, Rachel sat behind her desk on a tattered grey swivel chair, surfing her usual website, already searching for her next hookup. She'd had a crazy night, and she was, as usual, eager to find the next candidate. She scrolled through the names and bios, not finding anyone who suited her. She passed a few people she recognised as previous dates, and a few names she never wanted to see again. As she continued to trawl through the profiles, the computer chimed with the sound of a new message. Clicking on it, she read the text quickly. Now, this looks interesting. She clicked the reply button and began typing a wry smile spreading across her lips, 